a total like blood infection and all kinds of shit. You know, oh, she's gangrene. Like almost died and had her oh. whole fucking chest all like pussy and fucking all just totally out of it. You know. I'm and so then, sorry. What he do? What he do? Ah, uh, she might uh, try and sue me for this. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna prescribe morphine and Demerol and turn her into a fucking and just totally, <gasps> get her all uh, narcotized so she never zombie, bugs you, know? you, so she doesn't but have the energy like, to call a lawyer. Coherent enough to sue me or whatever, you know? Whoa. That's pissing me off, actually. I, From what I read about your mom, I read the WAPO on her, Marijuana Mama. I liked her. I was like, who the hell is Keith Davis's mom? She sounds like she's an Aquarius, right? She's like kind of a. Was she more hot headed than you are, would you say? What's that? Was she more hot headed than you are? That's yeah. not. That's <laughs> under. She was, actually. Yeah, because you said your dad was, like, some mellow, artisty, intellectual dude. But she was also a lot nicer than, than me, too. Yeah. But I'm a crab, right? A crab yeah, you, you, nice. you, like, go, you're all hard on the outside and have your little side claws. Well, I just I'm started a... I started a Michelle Munt memorial blog, so if you have any uh, pictures of her or like links to videos or data, I also think Charles Johnson knows her maiden name, which I want to index her maiden name as well, because there's a lot of Michelle Munts out there, but I just started it on one of my alternate blogger uh, rosters, and it, so far it's just, let me see, I think I've got two things on it, and it's like... Uh, me reading her last letter to me. Okay, I guess I need to fix it. The um, blogger is such a frustrating profile, but I was thinking some of the really cool photography of her, which I think Lisa Hay, Hay is it Hayes? Lisa Hayes or Lisa Haynes? Lisa Haynes. Lisa Haynes gave me, and um, oh, I get it. confused with like Donna Hayes. No, I've got Hay I've got so many Hayeses and Haynes in my brain. And Leslie Hayes is my old family friend. Lisa Haynes has a Y that I think I've never spelled her name properly either. Yeah, Y N E. Yeah, she wanted me to remove everything I have online and make it private regarding her, and it was like right in the middle of my move, and I couldn't even get to my computer. So I hope Lisa she's not Haynes, mad. Dude. What? Lisa Haynes. Yeah, she. Lisa Haynes wants me to remove everything I ever did of her. Including that day I took her to the co-op, I'm sure. And then she hasn't responded back, but I kind of feel like... I felt immediately stressed out by her, like, Piscean issue. And I immediately said, oh, yeah, sure, even though it's not my normal protocol to just delete the internet for people's whims. But um, I think I felt like, well, I want to help her. I want to make her feel good. But at the same time... I can't even find what she's talking about. And there's no way I'm deleting a co-op meeting because that would be synonymous with like a public official destroying a public record. Even if my my co-op film is my personal film, I did it in the spirit of the public interest. So just because she wants that deleted doesn't mean I'm going to do that. I would consider that corrupt. So like Sarah Long has an even better version of it with a better camera. So... I'm like, what's the point of deleting it if it's got a redundancy on the internet anyway? So it's it's kind of like this whole game of like deleting stuff annoys me. But um, did you see the pictures of the Chihuahua? What's up? I I tweeted some pictures of the Chihuahua. Uh, and some dog. A yeah, well, no, no, no. It's the family Chihuahua, and it like likes me. There are like five or six or seven dogs at this house. But whenever I get there, the chihuahua just, like, jumps into my arms. And she's the most ballistic little tiny, tiny dog that would fit in a teacup. She's so tiny. But she's so cute. And I have to admit, I'm having a dog weakness. I have a dog crush. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then I, I put up another video of the dog friend, the friend's dog walking the other dog. And I'm so confused as to who's a, really a chihuahua because they say these two separate dogs are chihuahuas. I think Mocha is the mother of Letty or something like that. But when it, they're like half chihuahuas or something like that. But the, that supposed to have... a chihuahua. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, my God. They're so cute. I see why people like them now. I, like, miss her. I want to go visit her right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've been 
filming a bunch of train graffiti because trains go by my house amongst them. Oh, I see why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Industrial. Yeah. But I've been getting like some pretty good stuff. Pretty. I've always loved graffiti since I was a little kid, you know? Oh, yeah, totally. And I first started seeing like, you know, when it started start getting good because I grew up on the East Coast too. Uh-huh. So the East Coast always had the biggest graffiti shit, and that's kind of where... New York City is kind of where, uh, and Philly and other places kind of where uh, it really just blossomed and got big and, you know, it's like the, uh, all the different styles more, you know, or doing actual, all the train graffiti where they just cover entire train and all that other stuff, you know? Mm-hmm. But, yeah, I first got into it. Graffiti as a kid, just seeing, seeing stuff. I remember I saw some uh, satanic uh, anti-god shit when I was a kid from graffiti, and I was like, oh, asking my parents about it. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> it's two Fs and one T, right? In graffiti, the right, right way to spell it. What's up? Uh, two F's and one T. Graph, feed, T. It's one of those words I always want to put two T's and one F, but I believe, I had to look it up once again, and it kind of annoys me that yeah, I don't know how to... two F's and one T. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kids need to learn, have graffiti in their spelling class. As of, like, third grade, they all need to know how to spell graffiti properly. Yeah, that's a, always a, a commonly misspelled word for sure. Yeah. I always find I want to put two T's and one F for some reason. Oy. So I recorded this cool British, uh, he's half British, half American historian dude at the library talking about um, John F. Kennedy's early career in diplomacy when he was like subbing for his dad during the war in... Um, or like right before the war or something, right as the war was starting in World War II, jo his dad was it Joseph Kennedy, but it was like so fascinating. He was a very like soft-spoken gent, and I made a a video of it, and I kind of wanted to put the video up in his face, but I know how it, how it was my thing. The uh, Christopher Sanford conflict of interest. It's Christopher Sanford, Union Jack, JFK's special relationship with Great Britain. He lives in Seattle. His mom is American. His dad's British. He lives part-time in England. He's written bios on Mick Jagger. He is just, it was completely lovely, but I was like sort of spellbound last night. It was very quiet and rainy. I recorded the whole thing in 10 minute increments. And I was the only one who asked a question. There were like seven people there. I thought it would be like standing room only, but evidently... I was thinking, well, is it because JFK makes people sad or what? And um, it's kind of crafty how he titled his book, Union Jack, John F. Kennedy's Special Relationship with Great Britain. <laughs> um, yeah. But uh, he actually told, ta I think he was talking about one of a, a Churchill relative sh schmoozing with Jack and then a future prime minister, maybe Anthony Eden, Eden chasing Jack's sister, who was a new widow. So he was kind of bringing up this, like, social milieu of these uh, lovely rich people across the pond and whatnot. And I'm, then, blo I'm blocked from... Uh, he, he does this thing, AmericanUngolanInvestments.com. There's some spooky who, motherfuckers. Who is that? Fucking Daniel... Daniel Kapua, her husband. Oh. If you look on, you're probably blocked from uh, him, too. Okay. The Kapua like, Foundation? Uh, you know? Okay. I'm actually not blocked from the Kapua Foundation, though. It's just funny. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Daniel H. Kapua. <sighs> I, do on you know his, what? Do on you... his thing, though, on his mm -hmm. head, header on Twitter, mm -hmm. it says you were blocked from following, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But, but, you know, you can still see the header, and it says American and Angolan Investments.com. Oh, I'm 
blocked. For, I'm really honored. I'm so glad I'm blocked by this guy I never met. That's interesting. Blocked by her husband? Yeah, I'm blocked by her husband, too. Yeah. I'm, I hope that means I'm on the danger, dangerous radical blacklist. <laughs> Dear heavens. And so he's got a Twitter for his foundation as well. Oh, he's got two accounts. Here's Daniel Caput. Let's see if I'm blocked from both of his accounts. This account doesn't exist. Okay, he deleted that one or something. <sighs> you know what I don't like is uh, the sharing of a name. I do not like it when men and women combine under the man's name. I think that's like a dead giveaway that someone's got an ego problem. Either that or someone's insecure or someone is like... In, in what I understood about the British naming process is that if like an aristocrat was marrying an, an, another aristocrat, that is whereby you get these weird double names like Camilla Parker Bowles or... And then in some instances, if the female was more of an aristocrat than the male, the male could take the last name, which I think it was like head of MI6 or something. C actually took his wife's last name because she was Scottish nobility and he was just nobody. But um, I'm the, I guess my sister lost her name to a guy called Wiener, like Viennese, Wiener, Wiener or Wiener. That's what I call my, uh... Yeah, my sister upgraded oh my God, to Wiener. Wiener man. Wiener man. That's yeah, yeah, exactly. It's weird. I don't... Wiener man. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I like a new name, and I like a new identity and credit history and stuff. I would like to lose, like, any stalker-type people that know me as Mary Yang. But, um... Is uh, I can't find her Twitter thing. Like, it might... The Kapuya? You might have 